Uh, my name is Pearl Lang, and um, my relationship to Mary's Place, I am a volunteer, a donor, um, just a friend to Mary's Place. Um, actually, since probably around 2007 was uh, when I first got involved with Mary's Place. Um, at that time, I was uh, working at Vulcan and the Paul G. Allen Family Foundation. Um, and one of my colleagues, um, Dan McGrady um, and Phil Fuji, um, had been working with uh, Marty and Mary's Place back when Mary's Place was over in Uptown in Queen Anne and needed a new location. Um, and that was the first time that I learned that at the time, um, Mary's Place was the only day center for women and children. And that was just shocking to me because um, I just couldn't believe that. And at that time, we were not yet in the state of emergency on homelessness, but still um, a city like Seattle, you know, there was still very visible um, homelessness that there was, I couldn't um, believe that there was really just uh, that one day center that Mary's Place operated. Um, so that's kind of how I first uh, learned about Mary's Place, and that and that just continued, right? I think you you probably uh, in all the interviews that you've done have learned that anyone once you learn about Mary's Place, it's the mission and the cause um, just touches um, people's hearts, and and you just stay connected um, <laughs> forever. <laughs> so. <laughs> Um, so I know that we, uh, the company uh, at that time, Vulcan, got a lot more involved and um, that we helped with the house um, for their, at first for administrative and then later I know it became Popsicle Place in South Lake Union that um, Vulcan owned. And then um, I remember um, that those were the early days, my very first time having lunch with the ladies um, at the day center. And this was after they moved to Denny Park Lutheran Church, um, the building next to the Lutheran Church. Um, and that was such an eye opening experience. That was um, and I'm sure it's just the first time any um, anyone sit down and, and have lunch um, with uh, the ladies. It's just hearing their stories and just spending time um and connecting um was was really a, actually a life-changing experience for me mm -hmm. do you have a favorite memory of mary's place was there a moment or an interaction that really stands out to you there are so many <laughs> um so the first one um gosh okay there, there are there are many. I, I think the one that jumps to mind was oh well I don't know if it's a okay it's like the most urgent I'm trying to think yeah the most favorite there is some funny one though but I don't know if it's more to the question about how the organization has grown I remember at one point Mary's place we were um I think that it they were growing. So I'm sorry, I'm going out of sequence in your questions, but um, in terms of kind of how Mary's Place has grown, there was one point where uh, the house on Harrison wasn't, I think it, it, it was too crowded. And so they moved to, it expanded to space in the old KXP building on Dexter. And I remember that um, still they were growing so much that folks were working in like the kitchen and like every any possible place that people mm -hmm. can work, they were they were working in in there um because it was growing so much and i just remembered like that was that was the dedication of the staff i mean that those are the thing it's just a lot of my favorite memories is really just the interaction with people's and the seeing the smiles and and the the closeness between and, and just seeing the staff dedication um but um uh yeah i think i don't have like a poignant <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, particular memory but um yeah mm -hmm. what impact did you see mary's place have in the greater seattle community 
Wow, a lot. I mean, for sure, mm -hmm. right? I think everybody, it, it's amazing that Mary's Place is one of those um, in Seattle, a household nonprofit name. Um, so I think in terms of just raising awareness and standing and, and really educating the public, um, Mary's Place has played a really big role in. Um, also, I think Mary's Place has really um, helped our public partners and agencies really think about um, because they're in the front lines, you know, how people are accessing services. Um, and so, you know, how, how um, I've seen contracting change because of that, right? Because they're saying, well, this is how it actually works. Um, but um, one particular memory there was, this was probably like 2018 timeframe, there was a big cold snap, um, a snowstorm, and there were just not enough places, um, uh, current shelters. And I remember getting a call from Marty and, and um, that we, you know, that, that Mary's Place needed help to find additional emergency shelters for the cold. And I quickly got on, um, met with our, our team and, um, and, and worked with my colleagues uh, at Vulcan uh, at that time. And we were able to find a space and work with Mary's Place to um, come up. I don't remember how many how many beds there were, but I remember then, you know, after we got all the, because uh, even cause the, some of the hurdles was uh, the building that we had that was available isn't permitted for emergency shelter or anything like that. And so we had to make sure that um, we acted really quickly, but that there were also this, the safety was in place, that all, all the safety measures were in place and that the city knew about it. Um, and, and then it, it all happened really quickly and we were able to, um, within a few days, um, actually be on site volunteering to bring the, the bed, the, the cots in and um, bring the blankets in and clean up the place and get it all ready. Um, and that was so impactful. So things like that, I just feel like Mary's Place, one of the things that I love about the ethos of the organization is always so nimble and say yes. Um, and I think that just also changes the mentality of, of the community too. It's how do we get to yes to help our neighbors? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that memory. That was a great story. Oh. Um, you've spoken to this a little, but um, how did you see the organization itself, like more generally, change and grow over your time working with it? Yeah. Well, I think people saw the incredible work of Mary's Place, and Mary's Place did a really good job of of also educating people that there was a, a lot more need out there, a mm -hmm. lot more. And um, and that the organization, you know, that 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 leadership, unfortunately, you know, had to turn people away, right? Because we there just wasn't enough capacity. And so with that, I've seen the organization grow tremendously to meet the need, um, and to collaborate more across um, the whole region uh, to work with other nonprofits to work with all the different agents, public agencies um, and grow tremendously in working with the private sector. Uh, that mm -hmm. was huge, right? Um, it's not just about Mary's Place growth as an organization, but it's bringing the whole community along to grow with them and the network of Mary's Place um, continue to grow. Um, mm -hmm. And so that I feel like is super powerful because you see sometimes a lot of organizations they grow but it's not necessarily bringing along this the whole community with them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. can you think of a event or um a time period in the organization's uh history that you think is particularly important 
Mm. I think I mentioned contracting at first because, you know, when I first met and worked with Mary's Place, they didn't have a single public contract. Mm. It was all privately funded. Mm -hmm. And um, I remember that there were a lot of conversations to why that is and them working with the city to change that. And I remember when they got their first contract uh, through the city, like that was a big change. And I think that marked this now long collaborative um, relationship with multiple different public agencies. Um, and I think so for from that perspective, um, that was a big milestone um, of, of change and, and also then going back to the growth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when you think about the future of Mary's Place, what do you hope to see? Hmm. Well, I mean, in a perfect world, right? Every nonprofit like this, where it is serving that 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 we that we all work ourselves out of the job, that there isn't going to be that need anymore. And uh, but but um, as long as there is that need, I hope that Mary's Place has uh, the support of our communities. Uh, to continue to meet that need. I have no doubt that the organization has that and the staff and the people, the volunteers have that passion. It's continuing to um, have the resources to meet the need. Mm -hmm. And just finally today, um, if you have anything else that you want to share in the experiences or any insights that you want to be a part of this project, um, I would just invite you to share them now. Yeah, well, I would say another, and I had some notes here and I'm saying, what did I miss? Mm -hmm. um, another kind of particularly important moment, I feel like, in the history for Mary's Place was when the announcement for, um, so I, I had left um, Amazon or uh, at Vulcan during the, the pandemic and I'm now I'm with Amazon, but I remember this was when I was at Vulcan seeing the announcement for the Amazon shelter. Um, mm -hmm building um, get announced and that was so inspirational and I do think that was such an important moment in the organization's history and I know it made national um, international news as um, I don't believe something like that has happened like that in that scale with a big company like that before and I know that mm -hmm. to this day a lot of people ask Amazon and Mary's Place, how did it happen? How can we do something similar? Um, and in that way, just become a model um, and a leader for how things can be done and that kind of collaboration. Um, mm -hmm. So I think that is also in the DNA, that kind of, again, it's, it's bringing the whole community along. Um, and I would say one of the last things is I hope that Mary's Place never lose. I think the magic and the power of Mary's Place is giving a place for anybody who wants to help to have a place to help, to be helpful. Because mm -hmm. I think so many people um, want to help in this in our homelessness crisis, but oftentimes they don't know how. Um, but what I love about Mary's Place is that they make it so easy and they make it so approachable um, to do that. And they use that opportunity then to say, let us tell you more um, and educate people more about what's happening. Why are people experiencing homelessness and what's needed? And I think that power of Connecting with people is so important and making anyone feel welcome. Now, of course, it, you know, in the mission, Mary's Place it makes every client feel welcome. But again, like bringing the whole community along of saying we we can all help and however you can help. I remember when Julia's Place opened, my husband and I would cook because there was no, that was a very special period of Mary's Place time. If they were using a church basement and in that church basement there was no real kitchen and there was no um fire alarms or, or smoke alarms 
So um, volunteers would have to bring food, fresh food all the time. And so mm -hmm. I, I, my husband and I would sign up and it wasn't just about bringing food. You would bring food that you cook and you would sit down and have dinner with the families uh, together. And we loved doing that. Um, I never signed up for the overnight ones because then they had to have separate volunteers to do the fire watch um, mm -hmm. to be because there wasn't uh, smoke alarms. So somebody had to be awake and um, monitoring 24 seven. But um, I just those were great memories of volunteering um, with mm -hmm. Mary's Place. But it really doesn't matter. Like if you wanted to donate something, that's great. If you wanted to cook, that's great. If you want to donate money, that's great. If you want to just have lunch with the ladies, that's, you know, all those ways is what, what it's going to take. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, thank you for sharing those memories with me. Yeah. They sound really wonderful. Um, and thank you so much for sharing all of your experiences today. I really enjoyed getting to hear your perspective and your um, stories that you have with the organization. So thank you so much. Yeah, my pleasure.